Grace and peace, family. Grace and peace. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. My hotel. Namaste. Free the land, beloved. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. This is your sister with the curly braids. Some of you affectionately have called me over the years your queen of black media. Thank you so much for tuning in to Alternative Black Grassroots Media. Family, I'm so pleased that you have joined me today here with The Vicky Show. Of course, some of you have become familiar with me over many years because you've seen me on other platforms and other networks that I have helped to bring great profit credibility to over the years. So I just want you to know, you can tell everybody if they want to watch me live at least once or twice a week, they can come here now to VickyDillard.tv. And of course, you can still find me on other platforms, uh, actually in other networks as well. Throughout 2024, be sure to join my email list so that you are abreast of any uh, of those particular changes. More announcements concerning programming coming up. Uh, so be, uh, my website, by the way, is vickiplanet.com. That's V-I-C-K-I planet.com. Looks like I'm seeing some people come in. Hey, Tony. Hi, Hillary. Hi, Mickey. Hi, the Ruby Runner. Hi, Derek. Hi, uh, what is this? Antithesis. Hi, Quan. Hi, Simo 27. Hi, November. It's so good to see some of you coming on in. On the count of three, for those of you that haven't, please hit that thumbs up button and share, share, share. We ask that you do that because it makes it more likely that other folks will know that we're here. It activates the algorithm. Uh, you all know that this is modern media. And of course, the powers that shouldn't be. Somebody said the powers that shouldn't be. Let me hit the gavel on that. For those of you that don't know that the Vicky show is the home of the hand claps and the gavel raps. That means sometimes when I'm amplified and I'm doing some of my spiritual magic, I clap my hands or I hit the gavel. The gavel is a symbol that I've used going on 19 years now that I received supernaturally and I brought it to social media. So I'm the OG, one of the originals. I don't know about nobody else using the hammer and the gavel. God today and not in this circle, I'm saying. And um, I want you to know. That spiritually speaking, as my spirits taught me, that my words are very important and they have consequences and divine influence in other realms. So I wanted you to know uh, that your words matter and you make matter. I wanted you to know that the gavel is not a symbol that should just be used for your world leaders, your policy makers and judges. Talk black to me, somebody. Uh, I wanted you to know that we not only control the narrative, but we're literally controlling world events. Love y'all so very much. And thank you so much for tuning in. We've got to get to where we're going, family. So family, hit that thumbs up button on the count of three. I love you back. On the count of three, everybody hit that thumbs up button, share, share, share. At the bottom of your screen, you should be able to tap it somewhere uh, and copy the link and tweet it to someone. Send it to put it on Facebook somewhere. If you're on uh, Instagram, put it in your Instagram stories. There's a link in your Instagram stories where you can put links for folks to tap in uh, whatever social media platform. And no matter how big or small it is, be sure to let somebody know. Are you ready? I see you, uh, Pamela. On the count of three, be sure to do it now, family. And of course, if you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, hit receive all notifications, even though that notifications don't always go out, but nevertheless. One, two, three, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Share, 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 share. Thank you so very much, dear family. I am so pleased that you are with me today. Thank you all for joining your sister with the curly braids. Let's get to where we're going now with our conversation. Now, you all know that I have been uh, nonstop, I've been attacked nonstop from um, the Black Democratic Shields mostly. But folks that are considered to be celebrities and influential and famous folks, and um, even your now uh, current press secretary who still has me blocked on her personal accounts on a couple of platforms, these folks have me blocked. These folks have come after me. These folks have disrespected me. These folks have contacted me in one way or another. And I continue to remind you of that because I want you to know they, sh they have reason to be concerned with what Vicki Dillard is saying. The people that you put a lot of trust and hope into, the people whose instructions and talking points and propaganda you listen to their libelous propaganda that they give you 
They know they're losing influence with the masses. This is one of the reasons why you see the Israeli lobby that put a whole lot of pressure on Congress to hurry up and shut down TikTok. These efforts to demonetize and to censor and to restrict social media, telling you that your children are in danger and, 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 and telling you misinformation is out there and stuff. They're doing that, beloved, so that you will help to reject these platforms, to give them cover, to restrict you. Then, because they know in the United States, we have been calling out the prioritization that America has been giving to migrants, legal and illegal. We have been calling out, for example, certain Asian communities that have disrespected us. And your government has conflated the official, for example, Chinese policy with individual Chinese people and individual Chinese businesses here in the United States, which is why your government makes sure they're good. Because they don't want the AAPI community within the United States to be mad. Because America knows the secret war that she's been having with China. So she knows that black folks are pissed at them. So we're going to make sure that they're good. We're going to keep giving them, we gave them $50 million in one year's time during COVID because they said it was, it was discrimination. Black folks has been looking for a, a, a protection bill, but we're going to give the Asians one in one year's time. So they got a protection bill that black folks are technically still waiting for. And without the need to have any additional legislation, your Democrat government redirected $50 million that was already in the government in one year's time during COVID to direct to just their communities. So they're trying to keep the Asians in America uh, assuaged and happy so that they don't start to sound like the nations that they come from because America knows that she's got war against their countries that they come from. So they want the ones here to be good and good white supremacist allies. Why, you need to walk with me with this. This this deep for some of y'all. So they know how they, uh, th they, along with other folks and groups, come here in our neighborhoods, disrespect us, and are the blood suckers of the black poor. So they use the righteous indignation that we have with some of them disrespected and murdering and, and, and taking us out. So America uses that. And then she has the white working class, allegedly working class, legend. Legend, 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 white working class. Because y'all know that's what they mean when they say working class. Now, we know there's no evidence of no long-term work coming from no white people. White folks stole work. We was the one that was working and laboring. White folks got mad and started dropping bombs when they had to work. God, did they? Don't y'all ever get caught up in no conversation with nobody talking about black folks are lazy. Even if we were, if we decided that we finna be in a lawn chair for 12 months out the year, we would be justified slowness. We're not running around here to prove how tough we are and sweating and laboring. We built this thing called America. Nobody was able to do that but us. They stole work. That's the reason why I be reading from you, quote, quote from this book with you all lately. We about, we're going to be about done with the book if you keep watching me. How white folks got so rich. One of the quotes in here. Um, where, where is the quote? The first part of the book. Y'all see this headline? What does it say? Working hard or hardly working. That's, that's their legacy. So don't y'all ever get that stuff twisted and get in no conversation about us working hard. It don't matter. It's a lie. Y'all never work. You, that's why you chipping with the unions. Rockman, your gift to my cash app is blessed a thousandfold. Don't let them trick y'all into that mess. They don't know nothing about no work. You wasn't even nursing your own babies. We did everything. We built the country. It's industries. It's businesses. It's, rail, it's railways. It's roads. It's infrastructure. It's buildings. It's products and services. Creations and inventions are all directly or indirectly inspired by us. Did you hear what I said? I said every invention you can think of. From the light bulb to the refrigerator to the stop sign to internet. 
to high tech computers is all directly or indirectly inspired by us. Fashion, music, science, math, all that. All that's us. So don't never forget this quote when, when they try to tell you what we look like paying y'all reparations. Slowness, working hard, hard and working. As this book talks about how white folks got so rich, somebody say, it's no wonder. <laughs> God, it it's no wonder. It has nothing to do with you pulling yourself up by your own bootstraps. You stole labor. You stole labor and work. You stole patents. All the people we was raised to believe who invented the light bulb and who invented, what are some of the other inventions they told us that white folks invented? Name it in the chat. Y'all help me out. All them lies. Or when you look close, they, done, they, they beat the black man and the black woman legally. My God, thank you, Ms. Green. Hell, y'all couldn't even come up with your own liquor. Jack Daniels stole his, got his ideas from a black man. It ain't nothing. Name it and it's us. Somebody said the airplane, you got that right. Name it and it's us, all of it. Funny looking self. Y'all hit that thumbs up button, share, share, share. That's why they control your books and history and everything because it's so much. White folks are like, where are we at anywhere in the world? White folks are like, dang, we, we can't even claim nothing indigenous. We got to rewrite this. We got to change the pictures. We got to engage in propaganda. It's everything. It's too much. It's so much. It's over freaking whelming. Remember, they just, let's give a recent example. They came out against uh, 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 Beyonce the other day, didn't it? Because of her, her uh, uh, country music song that's just taken over. Her album is just taken over. So you got the Dukes of Hazzard, which by the way, y'all, I wasn't raised with no cable and all that in the house in Mississippi. So we had just about three, four channels. And then when they added like two, three channels later on, as I was growing up, child, we thought we had it going on. Now the little cable we saw was at friends' houses and stuff. <laughs> all that stuff about Shanae and all that Martin, that was, we was hearing about the, the classmates coming to school telling us about an episode. Or if that afternoon, if my mama or somebody gave us permission to go visit a friend or something, that's how we saw. But we... In our few little channels, we I was raised up on Dukes of Hazard. Of course, I don't forgot half of the stuff, but I do know about the name. Well, one of the Dukes of Hazard, Dixie, racist, white supremacists came out, mad at Beyonce, talking about basically how we trying to get credit for country and all that. Just like, you know, basically comparing her to a dog that urinates all over the place and claiming different spots. Ninja is real. Cowboys was a derogatory term that y'all gave to us. We were the masters of even the beast. See, you all thought you, you took on the derogatory name for yourself and it's music. You didn't invent the band Joe Ninja. Did somebody tell them none of that was you. I know it's overwhelming. That's a lot to know nothing, 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 nothing. Nothing can be originally and organically credited to you. I know that's, that's devastating. That's so devastating. Isn't that devastating? You can't even get credit for, for, for country music and all the black legends and pioneers. Elvis and his crossover stuff, he can't get credit for what he did. He stole moves and music. God, today! Nothing. 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 So that's why you corrupt education. That's why you corrupt the schools. That's why you grew up down neighborhoods. Did you all know that in certain parts of the United States, we did initially the United States, we didn't have one uh, 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 official currency. Did you all know that up from slavery, we had a whole hell of a lot of black senators and legislators. Did you all know also in certain regions that black folks were actually on their own currency here in the United States? Ninja, we could count real good. God, today we didn't need you for, for nothing. And that's the reason why you stole the rest of us from the continent. 
I know it's I know it's overwhelming. I know. I know it's I know it's overwhelming. I know, I know, but it's reality. Claude, your super chat is blessed a thousand fold, beloved. Somebody said that they were called cattlemen, before, uh, but cowboys was more popular, so they stole the name. Right, God, the date. They can't even get. Yeah, but you can't even. You, we can't even keep the derogatory name. Somebody said we had our own money per state. You need to research that. I'm trying to tell y'all. That was us. But Vicky, move along. Y'all hit that thumbs up button. Share, share, share. Why am I bringing this up right now? I'm bringing this up, beloved. I'm going to make a point here in just a minute. I'm going to get back to that. Y'all hit that thumbs up button, share. In the meantime, I want to let you all know about the latest news. Now, with me saying about all the stuff we invented, how did I even get on this? God, today, somebody must have needed to hear this. Maybe I should just let you all know in the same way that we invented everything and we're the juice behind everything. We're the animation behind er everything. We're the energy behind everything. We're the swag behind everything. We're the mastermind behind everything. We can do it again, including taking over in politics using alternative media. Now, that wasn't the point I was trying to make originally, I, I, I admit, but that's going to be the point. Y'all see how I did that? Watch this. So why am I bringing this up? How is it that Vicky could prophesy way in advance to Simone Sanders and see her motives when she was just coming from working from, uh, 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 what's his name, Bernie Sanders' campaign to Joe Biden's campaign? Y'all know she was all Bernie and stuff. She went where the money was and where the power was for, for linebackage. So she was like, I can be a better, I can exert my skills better and jiggling all that my glorious voluptuous body for this white supremacy. I can jiggle and shake for the man better over with Joe Biden. He, he gonna put greater demands on the mammyism <laughs> today. Bernie Sanders is a big fat devil as y'all can clearly see now. But Joe Biden, he's gonna put her out there in a more overt way to use her skills where the, the world can see it. The Bronco <laughs> that constantly gets penalized for what y'all call it. When I told y'all she unnecessarily attacked, she jiggled across the stage and attacked that, that protester that was a non-dairy protester, non-violent, non-dairy protester to save Joe Biden's life and to ensure that it was going to be a shoe-in that she get that press secretary job. She went and lined back. She snatched that girl up and y'all, what do we call it? Unnecessary roughness. We penalized her for unnecessary roughness. But that was for Joe Biden to say, see, this is how not only did you bring me in the campaign as an alleged senior consultant, that's what they called her. But damn it, I know for sure I'm going to get this press job because I put my life and limb on the line. No, no, no secret service, no regular security because it was early on in the campaign. Me. I'm going to do this. And then to prove that she was out of her mind, she broke a nail. And no intelligent black woman under any circumstance. Somebody called it this. Y'all said that was a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all. Who said touchdown? Somebody else said unsportsmanlike conduct. Y'all, I like that unnecessary roughness, y'all, because that, that was I just all that was just unnecessary roughness. Not gonna be touching no 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 pro dairy protest to carry. God knows, hey, I'm not finna lose a nail over no white supremacist. No intelligent black woman is about to break her nail for that. You out your mind. That's a sure sign something wrong with you. B1, your gift is blessed a thousandfold. So black if you can please get to this real quick. Y'all listen. So the point of all this is we prophesied to her the devastation she was going to experience. We told her, ma'am. We know why you're doing this in advance before you declared this is what you was trying to do when you was fresh on the game. We told you you're not about to become press secretary. She was in the communications stuff for Bernie too, in case y'all didn't know that before she flipped the script. She pretended like she was, she was, you know, a progressive and all that, which I don't really have a respect for most of no progressives. They got some all right policies, but I was never tricked with Bernie. Bernie is against reparations. 
So how is he a blessing to us? Bernie believes in trillions of dollars and freebies for education, health care, and everything for the whole white world. Bernie is a secret advocate for the white, quote unquote, working class. Bernie is trying to make sure that white people don't get left behind. That was his whole campaign. And then he, with the T, y'all know all that he wanted would cost trillions of dollars. So when they said, okay, what about cash reparations for black folks? He said, hell to the, no, no, no. Bernie is like, if white people can't get it, y'all ain't finna get it. So of course I had no respect for him. So when Sean King came out and said that Bernie is a prophet, and when you saw all these black folks working on his campaign like he was some kind of revolutionary ninja, that's always going to be the test. So now all the progressives is mad at Bernie because Bernie refused to call what the Israelis are doing to the Palestinians genocide. And it took him forever to even demand, let's stop sending the money. So all the progressives are sitting here acting shocked. What's wrong with y'all, ninja? When you mess up and you on the wrong side of black folks in America, you're going to be wrong on everything else. That's why we keep being right. Somebody said he said it wasn't feasible. No, baby, he didn't say it wasn't just feasible. He full-throated on the view, said it's better ways for us versus giving us a check. You better watch the Vicky show. We don't do no, we ain't softening nothing around this piece when it comes to people that's against our, 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 our what's do, uh, the debt that's owed to us and justice for us. We don't soften nothing up for Barney's. God, today. I know what I said. But his clown wasn't feasible. No, 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 wasn't that but no feasible. During the pandemic, they came up with feasibility. How did they manage to get the majority of Americans' checks back to back in America in a matter of five minutes during a so-called pandemic? They figured out a way to cut trillions of dollars worth of checks for most of Americans in five whole minutes. Everybody hit that thumbs up button. Share, share, share. We got a heck of a lot more people in here than we got these thumbs up. What y'all doing? How we got 500 and something more people up in here versus the, 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 the likes? I mean, y'all, hundreds. We ain't talking about a few. <laughs> y'all, come on, stop playing. Thumbs up, thumbs up, share, share, share. Now, listen, Vicky, get to where you're going. My point is, we have been directing and influencing what's been happening with the Democrat Party, even when your so-called high-profile mainstream media legacy talking heads mocked us and said we had no influence. Y'all remember that? We knew that was lying over time when they start using those very platforms to specifically call out Black grassroots name and tell the world, don't listen to them. They kick rolling. Now, how many of y'all played kickball in school? God, did they put some basketballs in the chat? Roland Martin, who's symbolized by the basketball in the Vicky Dillard chat. If you know anything about kickball in school and stuff. And the origins of Roland. I told you I have a touch thing as a dictionary, not a dictionary. The dictionary. Dictionary is my book of words. Within the dictionary, you will find the etymology of Roland by and through his name. The first two words, the root word of Roland, roll, comes, is connected to the word roll, round, and rotund. giving you the esoteric backgrounds of his origin. He mer emerged from a river somewhere. He was nursed with kibbles and bits and found by a white supremacist. Talk black to me. That's his origin. We got to get into that later. Thumbs up, thumbs up. So what do you do with balls? You bounce them. <laughs> you dunk them. <laughs> Ain't no athlete. You kick them. What do y'all do with them? Am I wrong? Lisa, your gift is blessed a thousand. Lisa is one of our long-term supporters. Years and years and years. She said, you are a real God and light to us all. Thank you, Lisa Parker. Lisa, am I right that you out of Chicago and that you've been my one of my day ones for many, many years on multiple platforms? So you bounce balls. You just throw it any kind of way, bounce it any kind of way. You just use it in any kind of weather, on any kind of pavement. Talk black to me, somebody.
Yes, Bernie Sanders is pathetic too. That's why I just said, you must have just came in, baby, and missed what I said. <laughs> you dunk them, right? You kick them. Well, somebody kicked Roland into the black community. They bounced him, kicked him, dunked him, put him somewhere near us. You understand? And so they used him to start mocking us, cussing us out, calling us out of our names, all that kind of stuff, right? Well, it's not just Roland. It's many other folks in mainstream media and they have silenced us. And when I brought up the social media restrictions, before COVID, Vicky was being restricted and demonetized. White folks is mad now because they claim to be the real truth tellers. And now these platforms are going after them. But we were the, originally the ones that all these platforms were shutting down and didn't none of them have anything to say. The white progressives, the white liberals did not care that it was us. They just now coming around. Thumbs up, thumbs up, family. I'm going to need y'all to hit that thumbs up. How we got almost a thousand people in here and 440 likes? Y'all know I don't even try to stay on it like that, but stop playing with me. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Share, share, share. Thank you, Lisa. Tell him, sis. Y'all hit that thumbs up button. Share, share, share. That's how you can donate digitally, energetically to what Vicky's doing here. Thank you all so much that do that. Now watch this. Watch this. Lisa, I made you a moderator. Watch this. So with all of our influence and our power, talk black to me, somebody. Hey, Shalina. With all of our influence and our power, family, that was mocked by mainstream media, you should know the reason they mocked us when basketball players was coming for me. When you saw uh, 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 your so-called street politician activists coming for me, disrespecting me. When you saw some of your celebrity folks coming for me, you should have known, oh, she must be on the soap. <laughs> right, family? If they're coming from somebody like a Vicky Dillon, you should know, no, they scared about what she's doing. She must be doing something right. Well, we told y'all by his numbers are low. They freaking out all about the black folks. The, 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 the uh, numbers keep shrinking for the Democrats, right? So they done came up with the hip hop stuff. I talked about that before, but I'm gonna talk about it again because now they done brought, Kamala done brought Fat Joe to the White House to, moder to moderate criminal reform chit chat. Did y'all hear what I said? That's the outreach for black folks is criminal reform. We sit here on black business talking about cutting a check. And they sitting up here with Fat Joe who is not a member of the black community to be the crossover spokesperson for us. I just did a broadcast here. How many of y'all go to the lives? You'll see it. What we talked about, what a couple weeks ago, whenever it was, how the White House just hired a black media uh, 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 election uh, girl, lady, outreach coordinator. They didn't hire a specific black media liaison for the Biden-Harris campaign. Now, I have not directly talked to some of the other true black grassroots brothers, but I haven't seen any, or sisters, I haven't seen any uh, information that shows that they reached out to them. We command and have influence with the people. And if they're not talking to us, they're playing you if you think that they're serious about black outreach. Talk black to me, somebody. We done surpassed a thousand, so y'all playing with these thumbs up, but I'm gonna stop talking about it now. We almost at 1100, and we got 546 thumbs up. Talk black to me, that's crazy. Thumbs up, thumbs up, share, 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 fam. Watch this. So we are the ones that's moving and shaking what's going on. Major uh, 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 candidates been talking about reparations, and they brought it to the presidential debate stage and on the campaign trail wherever they were going um during this last election and they brought out the bootlicks to shut all that down because it was starting to get too much traction right well just like you see our power there 
Let me tell y'all something. Whenever you see Joe Biden suffering in other areas, like with the Muslims that's refusing to vote for him because he's allowing uh, their people in Palestine to be murdered and and and, and, uh, 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 and, and allowing uh, genocide. Thank you for putting that article link in the chat, my brother Warren. He put the direct link to show how the Biden-Harris campaign hires black media director. That's who I was talking about. Thank you, brother. Y'all, they be having my back. Look, look at the ladies. Y'all ready for this real quick? Thumbs up, thumbs up, share, share, share. Family, please know that whenever Biden and others start to have ancillary and tertiary problems, please know when you don't do right by us, you're going to create other problems for yourself. What does this headline say, family? <laughs> Lord, Vicky, please keep it together. I'm trying not to scream too hard. Y'all know I cannot help it. I'll be into my own broadcast. This is real. Y'all, look at this headline. Y'all see this? So not only is he losing other uh, 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 support from other important constituents. Y'all watch this. In strategic states where he needs their votes. Watch this. This one, this thing came out. And I'm going to tell you why this is really something. It's, this was intentional that they put this out there, okay? They been knew what was going on with his funny looking self. But I'm going to tell you, they're doing this for dual purposes. So we're going to utilize this headline for dual purposes here in black media. Talk black to me, somebody. So you got to know when they do stuff, they're trying to control us and they're trying to send out a certain message even when they so-called leak stuff. But see, we're going to work it our way here in media too for us. What does it say? Angry and anxious President Biden shouts and swears at AIDS after being told his poll numbers have gone. <laughs> watch this, watch this, watch this. Nikki, please. That's a Mississippi. Y'all, I got to be silly sometimes. Watch this. Angry and anxious, President Biden shouts and swears at AIDS after being told his poll numbers have gone down over handling of Israel-Hamas conflict. Let me tell y'all something. When you say screw your most devoted and faithful constituents, which are black folks, don't you know when you mess over us, it's going to be a domino effect of tragedy? Watch this. And devastation. Hey, Mac, your gift is blessed. Or MC, whatever, what is that? AIMC? Your gift is blessed. Your super chat is blessed a thousandfold. He said, you too real for him, Vicky. Keep it sweat. Hey, that's something. Watch this. So, 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 <laughs> his poll numbers is taking a beat down from black folks. So that's why he upped the ante on chicken meals and showing up to random black folks' houses with catfish. Y'all saw that play, right? Then all of a sudden he started using his, his individual executive power to start shutting down, uh, what is it, uh, college debt, right? College loan debt. But they still not telling you the other percentage of other white folks and other minority, uh, 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 minority groups that's getting the benefit too. But they just having catfish meals with the black folks that by default got some, some of their money. Uh, uh, deferred or, or, or canceled out. Are y'all catching this? So it's the catfish, it's 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 the chicken, which I believe in fish and chicken. <laughs> Just not in the combination of no white supremacists and they elect the uh, uh, and their oppressive political class, political uh, what is it? Organization. I don't believe in that combo. Just like my mother, 20 some odd years ago when I was in high school, I'm 45, um, but I was graduating 12th grade and I had started a petition in school, which for which I came, I wrote the petition. I had my mother type it up and I, I missed lunches for several days so I could get as many signatures on this petition as possible because of some jacked up stuff I felt they was doing for the graduation ceremony. And so it caused such a stir in the high school that the, one of the principals called my mother and took her out for lunch. My mother went to lunch with them. And the purpose of the lunch 
was they was trying to get my mother to talk their daughter into pulling back a little bit on this petition because they were scared that it was fixing to be a showdown and it was going, it was going to embarrass the school on, on graduation day. So my mother, who's not like me, <laughs> she, she told me she enjoyed her lunch. She took the lunch and she enjoyed the lunch. And after eating lunch, she told them what she wasn't going to do to influence her <laughs> This is how you have to deal with the Democrats with the chicken and the, the, the fish. She let them know, thank you so much. This was wonderful. Hell no, nah, I'm not finna go. Only she don't. She wouldn't say that that word. But she, no, I'm not finna tell my baby. To, no. <laughs> All right then. That's sweet mother D, ain't it? Thank you so much. This was one. Oh my gosh. And those that bread, the butter. Oh, oh my. The drink. Oh my gosh. And what was that? That Italian. Oh my. That was so. Oh. And the dressing they put just amazing. Yeah, I won't be telling her nothing like that. <laughs> Y'all got to know what to do when they come with these little tricks and stuff. You don't let that stuff move you. You got to do a mother D on them. Enjoy the deliciousness of it and then make a fool out of them before they even leave, get up from the table. When the cameras is going, showing with the chicken and the fish, you supposed to be over there doing the mother D on them saying, hell no, I ain't finna fall. <laughs> While you dab in the corners of your mouth and dipping it in hot sauce and stuff. Now, Vicky, please read this article. Thumbs up, thumbs up. By the way, family, my the Vicky Dillard Mystery School, we are growing my new school. You all know I have nothing to do with Club Vicky. I'm not connected with Dr. Boyce or any of that anymore with that business deal or social other deals and stuff. There's some behind the scenes legal stuff that's going on, unfortunately, that I have to take care of. I'm only telling the public that because I have my own my spiritual mastermind uh, that you can register at VickyPlanet.com for only $45 a month. Yes, the price is going up. Yes, the magic and the information I share is absolutely changing lives. We're well into the year and I'm already hearing powerful testimonies from the students for only $45. If you want to get in uh, before the, it goes up in the next few weeks, uh, we're adding so many wonderful changes and so many wonderful benefits. You want to click the link above and sign up today. If you want something you have never had, you got to do something you've never done. There is a scripture that says that my people perish for lack of knowledge. No, it really should say my people perish for the lack of the wrong knowledge. So if you get the right knowledge, you can ship shape your life into new dimensions. These are things that I divinely channel that's going to have a positive impact and give you the uh, unfair advantage, I say, in every area of your life when you join. My sister Shalita said yes, because she's certainly a member. And you can't beat $45 with the stick. By the way, my family, who is a um, uh, 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 part of the original class, they're grandfathered in, so nothing for them is going to go up. And they still going to get all the benefits uh, that everybody else uh, is going to get without the price increase. So if you want to get in for the next couple of weeks for only $45 a month and get all kinds of other benefits, all kinds of other discounts on products and services first, uh, and plus some other things that I'm getting ready to add, including access you have to a community of your uh, fellow Vicky Little Mystery School family, you will have access to that. So it's up to you to be engaged in it. I'm telling you, you're going to enjoy it. Um, you're going to get uh, access to me and a whole bunch of other benefits and stuff that I can't talk about here. So if you want to get that, be sure to join. Louise Robinson, your gift is blessed. Cash app a thousandfold. So family, click that link above. Now, Vicky, move on. Watch this. Listen to a little bit of this article. Remember, this is what I'm reading about. They talking about, what is Joe Biden doing? Insiders claim that President Joe Biden has been privately seething over his disastrous poll. Someone say disastrous over his disastrous poll numbers to his staff and is angry and anxious about his 2024 re-election efforts. The story comes after Biden did not get the typical, watch this, they claim now. Shalita said that my, my mystery school, she said, I promise it's life-changing, but not for the faint of heart. Ashe says, 
Talk black to me. Y'all watch this. It says, the story comes. Why are we talking about this? Allegedly. They done leaked this. Watch this. Y'all still hit that thumbs up button, even though we down 500 thumbs up. We got 500 more people in here than the thumbs up. 1,300 plus plus people and 700 thumbs up. It says the story comes after Biden did not get the typical polling bump after his State of the Union address last week. And his approval now sits at a new low of 37.47. Now, remember, Joy Reid and them and all the liberals and right wingers, I mean, left wingers. Remember, they was on TV thanking God that the drugs that they shot him up with to keep him awake. All the stuff that they pills they had him swallow down. <laughs> all the shots he took to look like he's halfway alive. And to keep him from falling out in front of the public, they were so great, grateful that it was it sustained them through the night, notwithstanding he still made some mistakes. But they was just grateful that it, they felt it could have been worse. Watch this. They was hailing it as if it was on Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Fannie Lou Hamer level. Well, According to this, of course, you all know there's several other articles on this, but I had to read through this one because I wanted to get the headline that showed he was cussing people out. <laughs> That's why I chose this one. Watch this. Watch this. He didn't even get a bump from that. Did y'all hear me? Listen, he did not even get the typical bump after the State of the Union. They did all that. He did wonderful. Ninja, how you going to do wonderful when you didn't even mention black folks who are your number one supporters and your dang show didn't mention nothing about economics specific, specifically pertaining to us? Not only did you not re uh, mention reparations, Ninja, you said nothing specific to economics concerning us. Then they're attributing this other low number to, and I shouldn't really say just the Muslims because it's more than just the Muslims, but there is a large Muslim or Palestinian group that's in places like Michigan that says, Ninja, you allowing 30,000 plus plus of our own family, friends, and loved ones to be slaughtered, and you you ain't even doing nothing to stop it, but you're not even saying Israel, you're not even saying ceasefire. The United States three, four times in the UN is a part of the Security Council. That means that they got veto power, so that means that the majority of the world can say, let's do this. But one of the members on the Security Security Council to which the United States is a member can just say, hell no, and it just silences the voice of the rest of the world. Your government was the single one during this last time that said no to a ceasefire. We keep saying no. Now, you all know that the ICJ, the International Court of Justice, has granted South Africa's application that they brought against Israel saying that Israel is committing genocide. Now, I know technically they're not going to make the decision of genocide for some time, way down the line. But there's a preliminary process that they had to go through that basically is equivalent or there's tantamount to giving Israel an injunction to stop murdering the Palestinians. And the courts did not refer to it as a ceasefire, but they specifically told them to stop murdering the people. But in order for them to have granted that preliminary application request, they had to come to the conclusion that there was plausible evidence that existed that they were committing a genocide. And the implication of them making such a global statement and decision means also down the road, it could implicate other countries that are assisting in the possibility of this genocide. The United States of America is the disproportionate supporter economically and weapons wise that's supporting and committed genocide. And based on information and belief, we actually have boots on the ground, but your government is lying to you, telling you that none of us is there. The same way they told you, let's keep allowing almost 500,000 Ukrainians to die in this unjust war they committing against this proxy war we got going with Russia. They told you none of our soldiers are there. Well, how do you define soldiers? 
Do you all know the overwhelming evidence that's there that showed that the CIA been set up in Ukraine for some years now? But the U.S. gets to be technical and tell you it ain't the soul. It ain't our soldiers, though. It ain't just the soldiers. But for years and stuff, we didn't have all these. We had all these CIA hubs over there and stuff for the Nazi Ukrainians soldiers. But we get to technically tell the public, but they stupid and slow self. That's what they think of you. I'm not calling you that, you all. I'm telling you, this is how they see us. They know we don't delve into these types of things because we're going to say, what they got to do with me? Ninja, three to five hundred billion. That ought to be your down payment for reparations is what it's got to do with you. Who were some of the soldiers that was murdered? And we can't, it, it ain't even the, the uh, surrounding Arab nations fault, but whose faces did they put out there? They were just some of the reservist type black folks who ended up getting deleted to go over there and play in the Middle East for the United States. Jerome said, did Trump say reparations? Be honest. Ninja, what are you talking about? See, I'm going to talk about that, that mental illness aspect of that statement. That's like growing up. I got a bunch of siblings. Sometimes when one of my siblings would get in trouble with my mother or my grandparents, and they got caught in the act of doing something, to get out of what they did, they want to deflect to somebody else. Well, so-and-so, well, Vicky said this the other day. Last month, though, she did it, but you didn't say nothing. You ninjas want us to deflect to Trump. We're holding Joe Biden accountable. And with your slow self, somebody put a turtle in the chat. That doesn't mean we're endorsing Trump and saying that he's a second coming of Christ. We're attempting to hold accountable the individual you gave power to, silly. You want us to deflect over a boogeyman. You want us to deflect so we don't have to hold you accountable. But you're the one that gave the impression through your multiple catfish dinners in attendance and singing Amazing Grace with our black Baptist robes on. You're the one that was supposed to do something about this. And for those that ask, Trump's weird self, at the very least, even when he ran against Biden this last time, he did at least have a black program, silly. You all going to say, well, how we know it was real? How we know it was serious? He just did that because he wants y'all to vote for him. Yes, dummy. Yes, you're supposed to do that, but you want people to vote for you. You're supposed to make changes and be willing to go for policies for the people you say you want to vote. The question is, did the Democrats give us a black plan? You supposed to bend the knee, silly. You supposed to change and do what we tell you to do to get our votes. Somebody say he a troll. He probably is a troll. But I know there's some little small and confused and disturbed little minds out there that's like the troll. So whenever you see me going after something like that, y'all know it's a prophetic reason. God, today. Y'all hit that thumbs up button, share, 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 stop playing with me with these, these likes and shares. We got over 1,600 people in this chat and y'all still at 878 thumbs up. I know we don't have half of the, the, what, the viewers, just a bunch of haters, which I know they exist. And please know I deflect all that negative energy back to you. Today, I know I think he got some, some weird, funny looking haters, seen and unseen, known and unknown. But I got an army and a, a spiritual and unseen government, too. And you ain't about to stop nothing we got going on over here. <laughs> Just for the record, stop. 
Just for the record. Think you get to where you're going. What did it say, y'all? Insiders claim that President Joe Biden has been privately seething over his disastrous polling numbers to his staff and is angry and anxious about his 2024 reelection efforts. The story comes after Biden, as I mentioned before, did not get the typical polling bump after the State of the Union. Y'all watch this. His new low, somebody put these digits in the chat. When y'all, y'all need to start tagging the Democrats to tell them to cut the check, issue reparations, and y'all need to be trolling the Democrats by putting, asking them. Questions, what does 37.4 mean? <laughs> y'all need to start creating games because y'all know y'all be coming up with some unbelievable stuff on these, these, these internet streets. Stuff that I can never come up with. Y'all's imagination and y'all creative abilities to do weird stuff on social media. You need to be trying to figure out how y'all can do something special and spectacular with the 37.4. Somebody said 37.4 million. No, ma'am. 37.4 is the percentage of the lowness of the poll numbers he's at. <laughs> no, family. That ain't no millions. Tell black to be somebody. Watch this. It says, I'm skipping. It said he began to shout and swear. NBC reports, citing a story that interviewed 20 lawmakers, president, past administration officials, and Biden allies. President Biden makes national security decisions based on the country's national security needs alone. No other factor, says the White House spokesman Andrew Bates said in a response when they was asking him, is he making shifts because of the poll numbers are low? But but, but uh, the, the, uh, the lawmakers is coming out. It says president, past administration officials, talking about he's shouting and swearing. So he behind the scenes just cussing everything out that moves. However, allies claim that Biden's frustrations are intensifying as he's questioning travel choices. Y'all watch this because this is how he's going to try to blame his team. But let me, I don't want to go too fast. I want you to hear how they wrote it. Watch. However, it says allies claim Biden's frustrations are intensifying as he's questioning travel choices and seeming inability to communicate his agenda to the American people. Watch what the next section says. I'm going to skip actually this paragraph. No, you need to hear this paragraph. His weak approval rating, somebody say weak, is well below the last three presidents who failed to win a second term. George H.W. Bush was at 39%. Jimmy Carter, 43%. And his November opponent, Donald Trump, was at a whopping 48%. Family, somebody say low. Somebody say low. Low. Devastating. Humiliating. Low. Historic low. Didn't even get a bump. From that State of the Union. Did y'all see him at the State of the Union screaming and hollering? And when he was looking at certain directions and all the rest of his face wouldn't move. And then he was just mumbling and bumbling and slurring his words. I was looking at the screen like, stop looking at me like that. Stop looking at this. This me with the TV. Stop, stop looking at this. You better stop looking at me like that. Now. <laughs> My little sister didn't know what to do. Stop looking at me like that. Now. It's me. I done turned to drink some water and look up again. I said, what did I say? <laughs> Watch this. Biden, 81, is allegedly unhappy with those who are described as wanting to, quote, minimize the chances of a flood. Y'all, this is what I told y'all. I said I want to, remember I told you he blamed on his staff. This is where I'm going with it. This is how he blamed it. Watch. Don't, y'all look. How you going to blame it on him? Watch this. I'm going to read that again because I, I said it too fast. Biden, 81, is allegedly unhappy with those who are described as wanting to, quote, minimize the chances of a flood. What's a flood? <laughs> That's him doing something stupid. And humiliating like he won't stop doing. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. That ain't all. And says he's cocooned and wants to take his case to the public and antagonize Trump. So the y'all, y'all know they let this allegedly leak from for the media. They want you to believe it's some drama in the White House. They want you to believe that he really worried about the numbers and cussing everybody out. And he is assigning blame to his staff. 
Because he's saying they got him cocooned up because they don't want him to flub out there. Now, y'all know he's intentionally been skipping going to the colleges and universities because every time they go to the colleges and universities, the students there are calling Kamala out, calling them war criminals, calling them war criminals, calling them out over the genocide in Palestine, right, as they should, and they messing up their flow. So if the whole purpose of you being a, going on the campaign trail is to campaign and get your message heard, that's humiliating to you because that means you're providing an atmosphere and an actual platform for other folks to hijack, to call you out like they've been calling him accurately Genocide Joe. <laughs> Talk black to me. That ain't funny, but I'm just saying. What's funny is they won't let his funny looking self be great, which they ought not. Watch this. But watch this. He's claiming that they got him cocooned up because of the chances of a flood. Watch this. The president's uh, temper towards staff has, has been detailed in the past, often yelling at staff and shouting obscenities. He's probably a little mad at himself. Y'all watch this. This is a front. They letting this leak in the news, y'all, because they want us to make us think we're getting a little bit of palace intrigue and there's some drama going on as if some change is getting ready to come. And as if, by golly, he wants to get out there, but it's the staff that's stopping him. Many people have credibly and accurately said, you don't have what it takes. You have no gas. You're scaring us. You're falling all over the place. When you was over there at this uh, international uh, 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 forum, I think it was in California not too long ago, for this uh, uh, international forum, he was there with world leaders. He was supposed to have been taking a picture with another world leader, y'all. I forget it's one of the guys from uh, South America. Y'all, he snubbed him because he was out of his mind. And guess what he said when he snubbed him, y'all? He was supposed to have been in the middle of taking a picture with this other world leader. What did what did Biden, do y'all know what Biden said when he got ready to get out of there and everybody was looking like fool? You supposed to be smiling and cheesing with this world leader. Y'all know what he said. He said, I'm finna go to bed. <laughs> God is my witness. Y'all, this ninja told on this global stage, he's supposed to be taking the next picture with the world leader. The world leader standing up there waiting for this fool. Felt snub. Joe Biden out loud. Y'all, this y'all, did you hear what I said? Y'all, why y'all laughing? He's y'all, this is real news. Y'all, this is real news. Somebody say prove it, Vicky. Let me see if I can pull up the clip. Y'all hit that thumbs up button, share. It's a crisis relating to conflict between China and the United States. As a matter of fact, Yo, I think it's less this, this might this might not be the one that kind of conflict. but this one say go to bed. Uh, I don't uh anyway. I, I just think that there is this the one other things on leaders' minds and they respond to what's needed at the time. And look, nobody likes is this the one having celebrated where is it at international meetings. If you don't know what you want at the meeting, if you don't have a game plan, he may have a game plan. He just hasn't shared it with me. Oh, this But I tell you what, I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> My God. My... Wait, I think that was the same event. Family, I was looking for this other specific, but that, that said what I didn't. I was looking for another clip. But did y'all hear it on that clip? Lisa, why are you laughing? Did y'all hear it on that clip? That wasn't even the one I was looking. Even though that was an international meeting, it was a different part of that meeting, I believe. Did y'all hear what he said? I ain't gonna lie. I forgot he was actually on the mic. I thought it was him walking away when he said it. But he did walk away. But I'm saying, I <laughs> family, this is who has the nuclear codes. They trying to make up, they trying to make you think, oh, Y'all just being ages because you told me this age. It's not his age, it's his mind. The man's mind. We know he's not making decisions at the White House. It, he can't be when you're in the middle of a serious speech in front of the global audience and you get confused and say, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Okay. Okay. That wasn't even the one I was. I was looking for, okay, but move on, Vicky. Y'all watch 
this, watch this. We can get back to the article. Ain't that crazy? That's some crazy. I'm, I'm, this is what y'all need to be trolling the Democrats about. He's talking about he going to bed. Why he talking to the world? I'm, I'm going to go to bed. Okay. Deacon, why you keep up with international news? Ninja, because he telling the world he going to bed. Y'all ain't worried about that? Vicky, stop hollering. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, Lord. I'm going to bed. Ninja. Back to this last piece. Of the I don't know why y'all laughing so hard in this chat. I don't see no words. Listen. Biden 81 is allegedly unhappy with those, I talk, read that part, who's trying to minimize the chances of a flub. They, these are the flubs. These are the flubs. But y'all know it's an agenda that they had when they, they they have their own agenda about leaking this to the press. Watch this. They really want you to think that nothing is wrong with him and it's his staff that's stopping him from getting out on the campaign trip. They don't want you to think that he's avoiding going to colleges and universities, including Kamala, who's alleged to be in her right mind. There's some the jury's still out on that too, but I'm saying. Kamala is avoiding even going to a lot of these colleges and stuff because they've been making them look crazy and calling them Genocide Joe and all kind of other names. Watch this. This was a paragraph I was going to read before I got off on the, I'm going to bed. He's probably a little mad at himself for not being more forceful with the staff. One Biden White House insider claim, adding that he often gets conflicting advice on how to handle the perception that he's too old to do the job. Y'all see what I'm saying? They want y'all to think that the reason he's not doing it, that's why they leaked this to the press. He probably did cuss out some people, but it's always an agenda when they let this out. The bag is what I'm trying to tell y'all. We're saying we're going to use what you let out the bag, but we're going to bust you for your motives too. Family, it is something wrong with this man. And no, He's not staying in because his staff is telling him not to stay in. And then he turned around and cussed everybody out. Joe Biden is everybody's boss family. He don't have to cuss nobody out after he finds out about his low numbers. All he got to do is say, put me on the schedule to go to so-and-so, so-and-so. They're putting this out there to make y'all think it's his team. Some folks will quit saying, He's out of his mind. You understand? Or he don't have what it takes to run. Because everybody already feels like he's just believing God for just about six, seven, eight more months of somewhat life looking demeanor. And then he going to hand the torch over to Kamala. Her numbers are tragic. She don't have a good reputation. So they hoping that this white man juice of getting elected by him being a white man, it's going to work. So the moment November is over, if he win by even three, four votes, Joe Biden will feel like he didn't fulfill his purpose and destiny. He's going to take his last breath. And I wouldn't be surprised if two, 24 hours later, we reading obituaries. I'm going to leave that alone, but I'm just saying. Many questioned by NBC agreed. That Biden needed to be, that Biden needed to just be clear about what he's done for the country in his first term, citing clean energy products, high tech manufacture, and infrastructure. There's a real story to tell, said Biden, Biden supporter and ex Louisiana Senator Mary Landrieu. It's a winning message, and it's about jobs, prosperity, and evolution. If that message can be communicated, I think the American people will respond. Why is that sentence up in here with this article? She said, if it can be communicated, that's, that's the problem. We all know he can't get it, get it out. When he starts to communicate, he says, I'm going to bed. He said he's going to bed. Watch this. Y'all, this is this where it get I eat it right here. However, some Democrats, like Washington State Congressman Adam Smith, yeah, I think this is the part. So some Democrats, like Congressman Adams uh, uh, Smith, are losing patience 
Quote, Biden stood up in front of the whole world and said, I'm ready. I'm the guy who can take down Donald Trump, he said. Here's the senator. I'm quoting the senator verbatim. So he got down well, better do it. We don't have time for him to be worried about whether or not people are saying things right or the poll numbers are where they should be. I want focused energy and not defensive anger. If y'all don't understand that the powers that shouldn't be who controlling them, they are manipulating a lot of this. And they're testing the, the, the public with some of this information when they leak it. They want to see if this is going to make a difference with the numbers. They're going to see what kind of feedback is coming. Because the white supremacist who's all about the war state, the military industrial complex, they're making big money off of war. And Joe Biden is a little bit out of his mind. They're not sure what's what. They're not sure if he can at least continue to be the actor who can read the script. He's slobbering over the script. That's what it's about for him, for them. So they're just trying to see, wait a minute, if this, if the actor going to fall out before the play supposed to start, before the Broadway show come out in two weeks. God <laughs> If the actor is going to fall out before the, the show, well, shoot, we're going to have to get the backup uh, uh, to come in. Marjorie, your gift is blessed a thousandfold. Talk black to me, somebody. We're we going to have to get the backup actor to do this thing for us. I mean, he can't even put on the, the, the costume. God knows he's not remembering his lines. That's on the teleprompter. Or we're whispering it to him in his ear with the little thing in his ear. And he's still saying stuff like, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to bed. Shalina, your gift is blessed a thousandfold. What did he say? This wasn't even the one, but this will do. I don't think it's a crisis we having celebrated what he say international meetings if you don't know what you want at the meeting if you don't have a game plan he may have a game plan he just hasn't shared it with me but i tell you what i don't know about you but i'm going to go to bed all right but i don't think it's a get on the bed joe get on in the bed baby get on in the bed <laughs> Vicky, stop. Family. Y'all be sure as you're coming in, if you're just tuning in, my name is Vicky Dillard. Um, some of you are used to seeing the Vicky show on multiple platforms, multiple networks over the years. But if you want to see me live at least once or twice a week, please know you can find me here. Of course, you'll still be able to see some of my other content on multiple other platforms and networks. So be sure to follow us here. Be sure to check out my uh, community page here on a regular basis and join my email list on my website at vickyplanet.com so that you're directly informed. That's vickyplanet.com. And of course, if you want to buy some of my yummy products and services, uh, some of which I'm going to be talking about more in the near future. Uh, uh, you can join at my website at vickyplanet.com. The link is in the chat to join my spiritual mastermind school uh, monthly. There are high level information that stuff I can't share here that is reserved to my exclusive, the Vicky Dillard Mystery School students whose lives are changing. I'm telling you, they're getting access to spiritual insight that's absolutely getting them results and manifestation in their lives. If you want to be a part of that for only $45 a month before the price goes up in the next couple of weeks, be sure to click that link that's already in the chat or go to vickyplanet.com. That's vickyplanet.com. I'm going to get off of this article right now. But I want to say this real quick. Real quick, family. How many of you all have been hearing about the black farmers that the Democrats have screwed over? How many of you all know that the black farmers have been for generations, somebody said generations, been holding to the, uh, the United States to account for monies that they have been owed for discrimination? Are y'all hearing me? Are y'all hearing me? Too many of our black farmers have been ignored. Well, they just updated this just a few weeks ago, February 21st, about this Newsweek article. Y'all see this headline? And look when they just updated. It's a recent article, fairly recent article. Y'all look at this headline. Now notice Joy Reid is not bringing on the large swaths of black folks who ain't stutting Joe. Now you know 
the MSNBC folks and the other news folks tell y'all not to listen to folks like us. So mainstream media is telling y'all not to listen to us. But why isn't Joyless Reed bringing on the black farmers who are politically powerful? They're not bringing these, these black farmers on because they she don't want the white supremacist empire and the Democratic Party managers right now to mess that up. Erica, your gift is blessed a thousand fold. Erica says, thank you for all you do. You're so welcome, precious. Right? What is what is this about? National Farmers, how many of y'all have been hearing about these Farmers Association? Real quick, I'm going to be quick. National Black Farmers Association President John Boyd Jr. blasted the Biden administration Tuesday for sending money to Ukraine while Black farmers in America face extinction. President Joe Biden has remained steadfast in supporting Ukraine's defense against Russia's invasion since the start of the war in February of 2022. I'm skipping through that part. That's not the important part. This is the part I'm going to get to. Speaking with Fox Business on Tuesday, notice the black farmers getting a voice with Fox News. But when it don't suit the Democrats, you ain't going to see them. MSNBC, CNN folks bring the black farmers on. Farmers on. Listen. Speaking with Fox Business on Tuesday, Boyd raised concerns about how Biden's policies were impacting black farmers, noting that the number of black farmers, black Americans owning farmland has sharply declined over the past century. According to census data, data, there were nearly one million black farmers in America in 1920. Are y'all listening? Which accounted for around 14 percent of all farmland. One hundred years later, that number has dropped to roughly 40. 40,000 farmers compared to a million, y'all. Over a million. Making up less than 2% of all owned agricultural land. He says, we're definitely facing extinction as it relates to the American farmers. All farmers are hurting. And under this leadership, what leadership? Democrat leadership, Biden, we're sending aid to Ukraine, but we won't stop farm foreclosures on America's farmers. Do you all see how economics are the big issue for black folks, even though they're trying to get you to think otherwise? Thank you, Brother Warren. Y'all, our moderators are in the chat putting important information and highlighted in blue. Thank you all so much. Listen, it says the White House included agricultural debt relief in its Inflation Reduction Act signed in August of 2022. Y'all hear that? Which, according to a report from Reuters, was expected to save thousands of farmers from foreclosure, right? Y'all listen. But the plan did not specifically target minority farmland owners. An earlier debt relief program had provided aid based on race, but ended after a group of white farmers sued to stop payments. Did y'all hear that? Mr. Boyd tells Fox Business on Tuesday, we've been trying to get debt relief for over four decades. Noting that relief had passed Congress, but was repealed, he said, by Biden. The black farmers are blaming Biden for that. He said, so we didn't get the debt relief, but I see a hundred billion going to Ukraine and some of that money went to help Ukrainian farmers with taxpayer money. He took the words right out of my mouth, but of course, this is in the article. Do you all know that when our brother tells us that billions of dollars went to Ukraine and that includes the black farmers, do you all know that the billions of dollars that's going to Ukraine is not just helping their military, but we're sustaining their federal government and paying federal salaries and pensions? Do y'all know that? He's right when he talks about the Ukrainian farmers we're having. Do you know that a part of the beef that we have with the Ukraine-Russia stuff is that, remember they was tripping with Russia because they said that Russia stopped sending certain corn stuffs and all that to African countries? Well, we found out that that was, that we knew, we found out that was a finesse because it's only a small percentage of the corn stuffs that are sent to African countries. Do you know that the majority of the stuffs were actually sent to European countries? The Euro, European countries were the ones that decried what Russia did by stopping that corn and so forth because they were the ones that was disproportionately getting it. But they were using the African countries as cover and tried to tell him, now you're putting Africa in trouble and in, in, at risk. Well, Russia went around, they funny looking self, and went straight to the African countries. And they've already started sending food to certain African countries. 
Some of y'all think, well, why can't Africa feed itself? Well, they ought to be able to feed themselves. But what you all don't understand is that a majority of that was going to Europe and Western countries. But Ukraine has a similar business. But folks have talked about how Ukraine's little dirty, little nasty, little dirty, little nasty, little farming stuff is a low level GMO level farm food, allegedly. So some of the world don't even want Ukraine's little dirty, little farming stuff. But nevertheless, we're the ones that supporting Ukrainian businesses, including their farmers, we're paying their pensions. And a lot of that money we're sending is keeping their federal government open since we are uh, causing them to put half a million of their people lives on the line. Some of the and some of the lives are little Nazi, Nazi lives on the line to fight Russia for us. I got to say this and I got to go. We've been on here a long time. Watch this. Why am I bringing this up? What do I want to remind y'all of? That's in recent history with the farmers, right? But you guys got to understand that this was systemic. This was a systemic move to codify and to negatively affect black economics with our farmers. Somebody say, prove it, Vicky. Somebody say, prove it, Vicky. Everybody keep hitting that thumbs up button. Would you share, share, share? Watch this. On page 72 of this book, How White Folks Got So Rich, guess what it's talking about? This section is called Farmers Harm at, uh, Home Administration, FHA, for whites only. I'm just going to read this one section. What, it is, what is it called? Farmers Home Administration, FHA, for whites only, FWO. Real quick. At the end of legal slavery in 1865, blacks were concentrated in the agricultural sector of America. Are y'all listening? They were more likely than whites to own farms. Who was more, more likely at that time to own a farm than whites? Who was it, family? I'm trying to see if the class is listening. Y'all know, when y'all listen to me, I keep reading different chapters of this book because I want you to see how deep the anti-blackness goes and how it was codified in law to discriminate against us. No other group can say that multiple laws over a century were passed to stop our level up. That's why this book is called How White Folks Got So Rich. It wasn't because of your labor or you being ingenious. Listen. There were more likely than whites, the black farmers, to own farms. Though they were held less, though they held less acreage and had poor, poor quality tracts of land. Despite this reality, Farmers Home Administration, the FHA, was set up in 1930 to give loans and subsidies to white farmers to sustain and maintain their operations. To achieve this uh, uh, unstated racist purpose, the FHA allowed local whites to operate the program and they, not the federal government, decided who would get the critical benefits. Did y'all catch that? As a result, Black-owned farmers, as a result, Black-owned farms unable to compete with the well-subsidized, somebody say we was giving welfare to white people back in the early 20th century. You see how they keep getting reparations and welfare? Don't you talk to me about no Black welfare cream that's getting an extra $20 for all three kids. I don't want to hear it. This nineteen thirty. Before y'all sit up here talking about, well, it's the father in the homes. Thank you, brother. My brother Warren put the link in the chat for you to get the book. Listen. Watch this. As a result, Black-owned farms, unable to compete with the well-subsidized and well-financed white farms, fell dramatically from about 900,000 in 1930. That's when our brother told us it was about a million. To 682,000 in 1939. Many of the whites use the government money to modernize by buying tractors and evicting black sharecroppers. Now, how many of y'all know that sharecropping was already a predatory industry after chattel slavery for black folks? What y'all don't understand is, of course, 
We were masters of the land. We were the agrarians. Watch this. We were agricultural geniuses. Listen, Congress amended the law to say that half the money should go to those tenant farmers, but the white landholders simply stole the farmer's payments, claiming if asked, the debts were owed. Y'all see they look dirty, little dirty, little stinking, little dirty, little devilish self. Did you hear what I said? In 1964, a study found that every program, and in the book, they put emphasis on the word every. In 1964, a study found that every program administered by the U.S. Department of Agriculture was rife with racial discrimination. The federal loans from the USDA were used by local white administrators to retaliate against black farmers for their support of civil rights efforts or for simply voting or attempting to vote. Did y'all know? Yes, why is it every time you come on here and think you're talking about economic injustice and, and reparations and stuff like that? I'm a, yes, we're gonna be done with the book by the time November come around. <laughs> Cause I want you to see this was systemic. This was an this was intentional, and it involves more laws, rules, and regulations than you can imagine. I want you to know, family, no, you ain't crazy, and no, we ain't in the economic position we in because we lazy or we did something wrong. Queen, I got to tell you, I love how you delivered that message to the Kennedy fellow. They get the message low, I think, loud and clear. Salute. Thank you, Precious. Y'all stay tuned. I'm going to do a broadcast. How many of you all know that I went face to face with Robert F. Kennedy? Uh, we released uh, more of that footage of my full address and y'all done lost your mind throughout social media. My people on TikTok, my people on Twitter, my people on Instagram, my people on Facebook. And some of y'all on YouTube, YouTube demonetized that one. So I waited to release it. And I said, just forget it. Don't worry about even paying me for it. So I just released that little short clip on YouTube. So you can see it under the videos. It's just a little short clip where you know how y'all, where we put the replays and where we put the short clips under YouTube. Y'all the lost y'all mind. I'm hearing from y'all all over the place. And uh, it was, I, it was, it was something. It really was something else. I got to say, it, it, it really was. Lisa says, you owe, you a great queen. Thank you, precious. Somebody said, I've seen the clip. I have not seen the full footage yet. And I'm also going to be, we're going to be releasing his response because y'all keep asking me about that. It's coming. It's coming. Somebody said, you brought it, sis. Somebody said, I've heard. Somebody said, I've shared it all day. Thank you. Whoever said that. My brother uh, Warren put all of them, them fire emojis in the chat. Y'all have been coming all the place. I can't tell you about my private DMs of the of people. High profile people that's rocking with 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 the message. <laughs> Everybody, just because you got a lot of high profile haters, family, your sister with the curly braids got a high profile secret supporters too. Please know and understand and believe that. I just don't snitch. Lisa said I watched the whole video was released. I talked black to me, sis. What was RFK's response? Why did you ask that, Angie? Angie, did you not hear me say I'm gonna release it, baby? Talk black to me, somebody. Real quick, family. Real quick, I'm finishing up this on the farmers. What did I say here? 1964 study found that every program, somebody say every program, every program administered by the U.S. Department of Agriculture was rife with racial discrimination. The federal loans from the USDA were used by local white administrators to retaliate against what? Black farmers for their support of civil rights efforts or for simply voting or attempting to vote. Just before his murder by the United States government, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King had shifted his focus from a social and political agenda to the acquisition of land. In 1968, he spoke at a rural Mississippi church and put land front and center. It puts a whole quote from Martin Luther King here, family. And we know he said he's we coming to get the check, too. But he also mentioned land. Right. Talking about at the very same time. This is what my. my uh, uh, a portion of what Dr. King said. At the very same time that America refused to give the Negro any land, through an act of Congress, our government was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that it was willing to undergird its white peasants from Europe with an economic floor. Somebody say them, them immigrants. 
You all see how the United States government, even back in the day, gave the white immigrants land. Now, this is a quote from Dr. King. But not only did they give the land, what else did they do, Dr. King? Are y'all listening? I know y'all be like, they could be going deep sometime with the, the with the details. Yes, because you need to understand this. So when you see me screaming and hollering and bamming this gavel, it's real. The agenda against us is real and it's deep. What did Dr. King say? He said, not only, what did you say? He said, not only did, did, did they give the land, they, they built land grant colleges. Are y'all listening? They built land grant colleges with government money to teach them how to farm. Dr. King called this out. They didn't just give them money. Your government didn't just give them land. They spent government money to teach the white Europeans how to farm. Somebody say how white folks got so rich. I know y'all like Vicky. Every time we come on here and you on this subject of economics, you on a whole nother law. Yes, because that's how deep it is. Watch what it is. Dr. King didn't stop there. He says they built land college, grant colleges with government money to teach them how to farm. Not only that, this is I'm still quoting Dr. King, y'all. They provided low interest rates in order that they could merc, um, mechanize their farms. Not only that, I'm still quoting Dr. King, y'all. Today, many of these people are receiving millions of dollars in federal subsidies not to farm. And they are the very people telling the black man the, that he ought to lift himself up by his own bootstraps. Y'all see why they can't stand Dr. King? I'm still quoting Dr. King. This is what we are faced with. And this is a reality. Now, when we come to Washington in this poor people's campaign, he was referring to, we're coming to get our check. We're becoming dangerous to them, family, because we're saying we want tangibles. The moment we said we're going to put down these little political chit chats with y'all, the moment we said we're going to put down these labels of Republican, Democrat, the moment we said, no, nah, we good with just the civil rights. When we say we, we, we think money smell and sound about good. We say money, we think money can do and like, we, that can do a lot. <laughs> we about don't even care about the civil rights with a, 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 a big bag. Because we didn't care about that or integrations with y'all funny looking self. Because as soon as we was up from slavery, because we was the one that built America, we was building towns five minutes later and the first bomb that was dropped wasn't Nagasaki or Hiroshima. The first bomb that your government dropped was domestic and it was on the black free slaves because the government was jealous. We was building, building multiple successful bustling towns and cities. How many of y'all grew up in a Baptist church where they talked about giving you the right hand of fellowship when you joined the church? No, we weren't giving them the right hand of fellowship. I don't think you should teach this to your children, but we was giving them the middle finger. We was big pimping with our own towns and cities and your government was so jealous. She had to make laws, rules and regulations and drop bombs, murder and lynch. And don't forget, they was also devastated. Why? Because they had to work. What did the writer of the book, Miss Anderson is what her name is, her book, and I've quoted you from this before, Call. How, how, uh, 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 what is it? What is it? Terrence, your gift is blessed a thousandfold, beloved. Thank you all so much for your kind gifts. Listen, what did she tell us? What, in, what triggers white rage? She said, it's not just that you're black. She said, what triggers white rage, I'm paraphrasing, is black ambition, black achievement. Blacks demanding something, blacks accomplishing something, blacks with the nerve to, to, to want something. The opposite of James Clyburn. How many of y'all saw that clip I showed y'all when he was doing that interview with Stephanopoulos after Biden secured the nomination, the last election? Everybody was crediting, crediting 
James Coburn's cooning for helping Biden, right? So Stephanopoulos asked him, but what do you want from Biden because of what you did to help him? He said, what do you want from him? What did James Coburn say? Want something? What you mean want something? I didn't want nothing. Clyburn acted like he was accused of committing a crime when Stephanopoulos had the nerve to say, did you want something for, for you mean you, you, you mean slave? You did all that for nothing? You could have told him reparations, some economic plan for black folks to give him the White House again, to give him the White House? You just did it for free. Use no leverage like Dr. Claude taught us. Forget quid pro quo like Dr. Claude taught us. Clive and Albert said, whoa, something. What I look like, whoa, something. Clive was live on the, the, the interview. C called his staff over. Mary, did you hear Stephanopoulos here? He accused me of wanting something. How dare you accuse me of wanting something? I'm the modern, I'm, I'm the modern Stephen from, from, from Django. What I look like wanting something. My definition of freedom it's not that of Harriet Tubman's. My definition is of freedom is taken from the root word of freedom, which is free. I believe in doing it all for free. That's what freedom is to me, Stephanopoulos. How dare you accuse me of wanting something? What I look like wanting something. The same James Clyburn during that same campaign told black folks that it is impossible to implement our reparations that disrespected us and that came out to silence all of the different presidential candidates because it was a handful of them that was coming out talking about reparations. He shut them down when it started to get major traction. The author of this book says, within days of uttering these 169 words, talking about Dr. King, Dr. King was murdered by an assassin in the employ of the United States government. The federal government has only recently agreed to pay a measly $1.2 billion to a small fraction of the black farmers who were denied FHA loans that white farmers routinely receive. Compare that with the five to six trillion with a T. Somebody put the word trillion in the chat. The author says, compare that, what? to the five to six trillion of the cost of US wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Syria, Yemen, Libya, et cetera. So I wanted to give y'all just a little bit of an excerpt because when you hear the modern black farmer who I just gave you the receipts on and I'm gonna want y'all to support them, I want you all to use these as talking points. Benjamin, Calvin Benjamin, your cash app is blessed a thousand fold. Listen, it's the same issue that our brothers and sisters was having 70, 80 years ago. Really, a century ago. Because remember when that started, when I started talking about the book, it talks about how in the, what, the 1930s, how many farmers there were and started to track the discrimination. And then a study that was done in 1964 showed that every part of the agricultural department was rife with racism. No, we're going to be bold about our demand for reparations. We're going to be unapologetic. Family, I got to run right now. I know I interconnected some things here, but I want us to have as much ammunition as possible and for you to take this information and this knowledge and see how you can use it in the employ of your daily life to hold accountable the powers that shouldn't be and also what creative things that you can do for us to begin to build together and to work together. Are y'all hearing me today? Also, the farming issue is a big deal because you're hearing now how Bill Gates and some of these other funny looking devils, Monica, your gift is blessed a thousand fold, are buying up a bunch of the land. The hell is Bill Gates with his depopulation self and his little bloodline that he come from? They're trying to control you. Whoever controls your food supply family controls you. 
It's not by accident what they're doing. How many of y'all know that in certain parts, they're saying that they want us to register even if you make a, make a little two, a little, 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 little garden in the back of your little yard. They want folks to start registering that. Isn't that some madness? He's already accused of getting patents, if I'm remembering correctly, on certain seeds. The hell is you trying to patent a seed for food? That's connected to the GMO stuff. How many of y'all know that some of the GMO foods in places even like Lily White Italy has banned some of Gates and stuff in Italy? The white people there saying, hell, they saying, you know, we dying off naturally. <laughs> Food, we not finna let these, these alphabet seeds come up in the food stuffs come up in here. Monsanto, that's right, a victory. How many of y'all like Italy saying, Ninja, we already out the door? <laughs> Shereen, Shereen advice. I bless you because you bless me. Thank you, precious. Your gift is blessed a thousand for I bless you again. I gotta run, family. If y'all know, I, I, I gave some powerful revelation and magic. I gave y'all some deep insight on Bill Gates' name. Didn't I? If you attended my latest 911 pandemic, you can get the replay. It's real. It's about $30 some dollars on my website at vickyplan.com. I got to run right now, family. I love you all so much. I've been here a long time. Y'all were in here heavy today. We was close to, what, 1700 If we went over there or something, we got to start getting them thumbs up better. Uh, that is, but y'all know what I'm saying. We done did a little bit better now. My name is Vicky Dilla, beloved. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure, family. Uh, uh, to stay stay tuned. Um, I know I've been telling you all for a long time that when I do get a schedule, I'll let you know. Of course, I don't have that schedule yet. I'm trying to get some things changed. Of course, when you when you are um, relaunching some of your businesses and disconnecting from previous partnerships uh, and platforms and other things, it can take some unwinding and some undoing. And so that takes a bit of time, but we're getting there bit by bit. Yes, those of you that have supported me with some of the recent moves that I've made, for example, with um, the recent interview that was released, the recent address, I should say, my speech to uh, Robert F. Kennedy, presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy, continue to support that family. Stay tuned because I'm going to be putting up the rest of the clip and his response soon. Me and my team are working on that. Follow me on Instagram. The link, uh, the, uh, follow me on X. The link is in the chat. You can follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard. You can follow me on Facebook at Vicky Dillard. Yes, I got a couple of Facebook pages. Just make sure it's the real me, but it is too. It's the regular Facebook page and it's uh, I think they call it a fan page. And of course, here support uh, Vicky Dillard.tv. Uh, dear family, those links are in the chat. Shout out to our beautiful moderators. That's such a blessing to us. Uh, and thank you, those of you that tuned in. You are my bliss. This only happens because of you. I bow to you. I'm your sister with the curly braids. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs>